What's going on, everyone? Slender here, playing a little bit of V Rising. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get this Castle Heart upgraded. Uh, the game just came out, brand new, not a lot of stuff out there. And, you know, I got stuck here, so I figured maybe someone else did too. So if you got stuck, the Castle Heart can't progress, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, I'm going to show you guys really quick. And before I do, I just wanted to tell you, my uh, editor has been bugging me for like for the last week to play this game and give it a shot. To the point where he was actually getting mad at me because I didn't try it yet. So I tried it out and I am having a blast. This game is actually a lot of fun. May not look like it at first, but this game is is pretty cool. I, I can't stop playing it. <laughs> I've been playing for like for the last few hours straight. Anyway, so yeah, got stuck on the Castle Heart. Gonna show you guys how to upgrade it. All right, so before I get into it, I'm just gonna show you guys the Blood Altar. You might have already figured it out, maybe not. But the Blood Altar lets you unlock different like abilities and different structures and stuff like that. So you have to do this one at a time. You pick a creature, you hit track blood, and it will actually, I already did, see that right there. It's gonna show you the direction that you need to go to find and track down this monster. Once you kill this monster, you unlock this. Um, this is just a, you know, like a fast travel thing. You turn into a little wolfy and you can run around. It's pretty sweet. So the problem I was having is I couldn't, um, I needed to make some leather. I had a little bit of leather, you know, just from different mobs and it was taking forever. So I figured, well, I've got all these animal skins, been sitting on them, don't really know what to do with them. Hello, turn them into leather. You need to make the tanner. So once again, go over to the blood altar and it is the Keely, the Frost Archer. She gives you the Tanner. So you've got to track her down and go kill her. Once you do that, you'll be able to make the leather you need for the upgrade and, you know, the copper too. You should have the copper already. If you don't, um, it's just made, you know, in the furnace, pretty basic. And yeah, so that's all you have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and track her down, show you guys what I did to kill her because she's kind of tough. There's a bunch of mobs over there. So, you know, you're probably going to want to get your at least level two stuff together, maybe be around 19 or 20. You could probably do it sooner. But anyway, yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, so I activated the, um, the blood altar thingy and then it took me like all the way over here. So this fast travel is pretty close to where she's at over by Farbane Woods. All right, here you go. So I actually went ahead and threw in the exact location right there on me. So when you get there, the best thing you can do is just slowly, little by little, whittle away all the trash so that you don't have like seven or eight different mobs you're trying to fight at once because she's pretty tough and she hits pretty hard. So one by one, kill them off, you know, just kind of pull them like maybe two, three at a time, pull them away from her, get all the mobs in that whole area cleared out, and then you want to go ahead and engage her. So I cannot tell you how valuable that C is, the counterattack. So that actually heals you for 30% whenever you um, block uh, either melee or projectile. And if anybody's close next to you, they actually get a knockback and take damage. So that thing helps so much.
So once you kill her, you're going to learn that new skill, then uh, go back to your, your castle because you unlock the tannery. Build the tannery, start cranking out that leather by putting the animal skins in there, and you can upgrade your keep. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped. And uh, you know, if it does, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be on the lookout for some new content on this new game. And I really don't want to say it this early. I'm probably going to get myself in a lot of trouble, but... This game's fantastic so far. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And with that being said, I actually went out and got our own server. So we've got a 40 slot. There's nobody on there until my editor gets on there and gets a head start. But the server name is Slender with a number three space MMO. I'll see you guys there. Take care, everyone.